How the heretics? I have good news because Jehovah Witness kids are getting a pet pirate, according to the new Watchtower. When I was a kid, I grew up as a Jehovah Witness kid, and then I said, if you push enough of Watchtower's product, uh, you get a pet lion in the afterlife. And then they changed it to a pet tiger and a pet panda, and now you're getting a pet pirate, according to the Watchtower propaganda. And Watchtower propaganda is aimed at children, because children often believe what the parents tell you. And they will always use picture and they would tell you, you know, to focus on the picture, think about the picture. It's actually, now I know it's quite hypnotic because uh, I during hypnosis, you will always tell people to picture this, feel it, smell it, use all your senses because it becomes real. Uh, well, it's a long process. It takes time, but that's why it's called childhood indoctrination. Anyway, Jehovah Witnesses are getting a pet pirate. And I think that's cool. So this is an article for childhood indoctrination. This is from Watchtower. And it says, what can we learn from a criminal? So the story is that Jesus was impaled and was two guides on each side. And Jesus tell one of them that you can be with me in paradise. And witnesses believe their paradise on earth and Jesus is not gonna be there. So it's a very strange sentence to say, you are gonna be with me in paradise since Jesus it's not going to be in paradise, according to Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that on paradise, everyone will be perfect and no one will make any mistake. And they will be ruled by 144,000 people. And if you think about it, why would you need 144,000 policemen if no one ever, ever, ever makes any mistakes? But anyway, that's what they believe, and you get the pet panda. So what can we learn from a criminal? So this is the guys. Well, one thing we could learn from a criminal, that it's never too late to be networking. That's a good thing. But so here's a picture, and this is obviously meant for children. It's a pirate with a beard. But then here is the same guy, and a kid is preaching to him and teaching him. So Jehovah Witness, if you've never been a Jehovah Witness, I can explain how it works. They believe that Jesus Christ and all the angels will soon kill everyone that do not believe in the faithful and discreet slave. And the faithful and discreet slave is some old guys in America. If you don't believe that they were elected by Jesus in October 1919, you obviously deserve to die. And your kids. But if you die one second before, then you're be resurrected. So that's why they think that here, this pirate, which objectively would be a bad person, a pirate back then was a bad, very, very, very bad person. But since he died before Armageddon, he will be resurrected. While I am not such a bad person, but I'm not one of Jehovah's Witness. But I will die in Armageddon and not be resurrected. So that's what they believe. It doesn't make any sense, but that's what they believe. So then, here we get the kid get to preach to him. And if you look at Watchtower propaganda, if you're not used to it, I can just show you something funny. So this is how a person look when he's not studying with Jehovah's Witness. He has a big beard. And then, when he studied with Jehovah's Witness, he no longer have a beard, but he has a moustache, while the Jehovah Witness male here does not have a beard fraction. So that is what they called progress. You're making progress. You're slowly removing Jehovah's creation. And you can spend 10 minutes every day for the rest of eternity removing God's creation. Anyway, I think this is a happy day because I'm kind of tired of pet lion, pet pandas, and pet... Now I get a pet pirate. Sorry, I think that's funny. I think that's funny. I'm a childish person, but I think it's funny. <laughs> so, good luck to Jehovah's Witness kid to wake up from the indoctrination. It's a real hard process. And if Jehovah's Witness parents knew what they put us through, they would do their research. Seriously, if you're Jehovah's Witness parents, I love Jehovah's Witness. I have nothing against Jehovah's Witnesses. But when you ask your children to belong to a certain religion and you refer to it as the truth, you should do your research. 
before you teach someone else. Because I know there are some stuff you don't believe in. I know there's some stuff that doesn't make sense. Just use Google. Watchtower claimed that archaeology is a good thing. Well, just use Google and check archaeology. When, was, G, was Jerusalem destroyed 607? If it wasn't destroyed 607, then 1914 is a bluff, then 1919 is a bluff. Or you can use Google and check if the governing body existed in 1919. They didn't. So. Ah, there's a lot of stuff you can check. If you're a parent and you teach your children a certain religion that comes with a lot of demands, you should really do your research before you push it on to someone else. And maybe you're lucky, everything is true, and your kid gets a pet pirate. So this was everything from Goat Like Personality for today. I'm really happy when you subscribe to my channel. It makes me happy. During so, the war of the great day of God Almighty, Jehovah will use his heavenly forces. Included among these will be all of the 144,000 who by that time will have received their heavenly reward. Then, in a spectacular way, Jehovah will no doubt unleash both natural and supernatural forces to protect his loyal servants and eliminate his enemies. After the final test at the end of the thousand years, what will be the situation? All creation in heaven and on earth will be completely united in the pure worship of our loving Heavenly Father, Jehovah. Hallelujah! What a time that will be! That's an, that's an excellent transition into the next part of our program. Does the governing body, or do the members of the governing body, um, do you see yourselves as modern-day disciples, the modern-day equivalent of Jesus' disciples? Uh, we certainly hope to follow Jesus and be his disciples. And do you see yourselves as Jehovah God's spokespeople on earth? Uh, that, I think, would seem to be quite presumptuous to, to say that uh, we are the only spokesperson that God is using.